Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 8th, 2021. It's Friday, everyone, and that should make us all happy. Um, we have had just an amazing run here in the market um, the last few days. The Dow itself recovering more than 1,100 points from the Monday low as the markets just seem to be laser focused on the idea that there's going to be more federal um, stimulus on the way or hopes, I guess, that there's uh, more stimulus on the way. And what does that mean for today? Well, we have a big employment situation number and, and a few other things to consider. So how about we buckle up, grab yourself something to drink, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, this morning we have futures once again pushing and popping. It's kind of an interesting situation that we've got going on right now. The hopefulness of uh, more stimulus just seems to, we just seem to blindly, blindly chase stocks now. Um, there doesn't seem to be a price that's too high in um, the market. We we just rush and rush and rush and rush and, and, and push and push in the market. So we're continuing to set these new record highs. One thing I want to point out, and I think there is some danger here, and I want everyone to understand, I am still bullish in this market. Um, I'm following this upside trend, but I do have a bit of a concern in that we have stretched so far so quickly that our price supports are a long ways down here. And if we were to get some news, if we were to get um, some kind of um, uh, profit-taking wave, just keep in mind there is some danger in chasing stocks that are um, already stretched out um, in this market. So kind of keep that in mind. A pullback in here could be, you know, point-wise, um, pretty darn painful. So make sure you're um, being wise about that and being careful. And one of the things I want to um, point to is when we get rallies like this, when we get good pushes to the upside like this, it is actually an opportunity to take some profits and, and make sure as we head into the weekend that you've captured some of those gains and protect yourself as we continue to push and stretch to the upside, it might be something to consider. So think about that carefully. Also, let's take a look at our technicals here. We're, we still are very bullish. Um, clearly, we're bullish in the market. Um, trends are continuing to move higher. We are stretching farther and farther away from that 50-day moving average, and that does concern me a little bit as we continue to uh, push and stretch and trying to gap up this morning ahead of the employment situation number. So keep an eye on that. We, we are pretty frothy here, and um, you just want to consider your risk carefully um, as we continue to push this on up. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation. We are spiking hard here in the SPY, and it does give me some concern in just how steep this rally is um, here over the last few days. And what I mean by that is even a pullback in here to test the price of price support is a significant point move and would be pretty painful if you happen to be one of the last one to um, buy something up um, heading into the weekend. So be careful if that were to pull back. I also want everyone to consider that with all of the political stuff out there going on, all the wrangling, the possible impeachment and possible invoking of the 25th Amendment, all these things out there, we could have a rather politically newsy weekend. Who knows what that can bring? It could actually inspire the markets higher. But you just want to consider that as you plan your risk into the weekend, that we could have a, um, a pretty interesting weekend on that political front. 
front. Let's take a look here and just also realize that we are stretching a long ways away from our 50 again. And as we continue to press and push, um, hoping for more stimulus, more debt is what we're hoping for. Um, we just want to make sure not to chase stocks that are already extended. Make sure you're buying. If you are buying, make sure you're buying in a place where we're at or near price support rather than at or near new highs or resistance levels in charts. And let's take a look at the queues. Now QQQ was struggling here. And as a matter of fact, I kind of had a bearish um, image of the QQQ um, on this day and notice that we have just completely reversed that um, back to the upside. So we've broken out. Now the Qs don't have near as much danger for that pullback. We'll, we'll catch some price support in here a lot faster because it, it has lag behind the, um, the other markets. But just note that there is some danger here. And we also want to re remember that we have several of the big tech giants, you know, under uh, federal investigation of antitrust. So, um, consider that carefully. And then we have IWM. IWM has just absolutely been soaring. And you take a look at that chart and there's just really no way to mistake this um, other than to say we have just gone absolutely parabolic. We're just stretching straight up here in that chart. So just that caution out there as we continue to lift and stretch um, to be a little bit careful here um, in the market. IWM setting new record highs. Looks like all the indexes have the potential of setting new record highs at the open, depending on how that employment situation comes in today. Let's take a look at um, um, the VIX here. Now the VIX continues to perplex me just um, a bit. We're setting new record highs on a daily basis, but yet we still can't make a new low in the VIX. We're still in this little rally mode. We haven't pushed on through here, which is a good thing. And we have failed that 50 day moving average here in the VIX, but we're still holding above a 22 handle as we just continue to rush and press higher. And that is a bit of a concern. And only because if we start to sell off, if we um, get that selling wave, it could be really sharp, really steep and really painful. So make sure you have a plan to protect yourself with that VIX up here. I would, I would much rather see where we're setting new record highs, our VIX way down here. Um, like we have always been when we set new record highs. It's just remarkable to me that we're up in this level um, doing that. So I don't know what that means. I just know that it makes me a little bit nervous and I want to be watchful of those selling waves because they could be um, rather painful. Let's take a look at T2122. The four week new high, new low ratio. Now, once again, our four week new high, new low ratio, we're back up here in our bearish resistance zone or bearish reversal zone. Um, we just keep pressing and pushing and pressing and pushing. And we've stayed up here um, a remarkable amount of time. I've never, um, I've never really witnessed um, this since about 1999 where there just wasn't anything that mattered. Uh, jobs don't matter, you know, as, uh, we just go higher. And there's just this mad rush into stocks. Now that can continue for quite some time, but I just wanna point this out that we should be a little bit careful and cautious. We could get that selling wave that comes in at any time. So make sure you have a plan, stay with the trend, but make sure you have a plan to protect yourself and capture some of those gains um, before we have uh, that major painful pullback that could occur, you know, really at any time. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, I do think this is a bit encouraging. T2101, in the rally that we've seen the last couple of days, T2101 has actually perked up. That's showing that we're getting a little bit more response um, in that market breadth to that bullish move. We haven't broken any of these downtrends or anything yet, but it is encouraging that we're bouncing up off of that 
um, uh, off of those lows, we're seeing a little bit more um, participation on that bullish side. So that is a positive sign here, I think, for the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And um, what we've got to deal with today is a pretty big number. Normally, we get quite a little volatility around this number, the employment situation number. Now, consensus is suggesting that um, our employment um, situation has declined over December. Um, probably not a big surprise um, considering the additional restrictions and things like that that have been happening due to the pandemic. Now, keep in mind though that we saw private payrolls decline on Wednesday and nobody cared. Um, we rallied, um, you know, at one point, the Dow rallied 600 points after we showed that jobs declined, um, which is a very odd situation. So I actually had someone in, in a right way options trading room yesterday kind of joking. So if we get a good number, we go up. And if we get a really bad number, can we go even higher? And that seems to be the case anymore where none of these data points on the market really seem to matter. So I don't know what's going to happen here. I, I never uh, want to give you guys the impression that I have a clue as to how the market will respond to this. And I would say that's even less today. I don't really understand uh, the market that is just ignoring the job situation and um, continuing to run. But that's what's happening. So kind of keep that in mind. This number that could show a decline could actually encourage um, the markets to go even higher. I don't know. Um, watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up um, in the market. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And although I've been kind of, you know, shouting out there the caution and be careful and don't chase and those kind of things, it really is based, um, from the technicals here, we have some pretty substantial pullbacks that could occur and I don't want to see people getting damaged. So I am a very technical trader. I try not to get involved in all of the hype and drama that we see out there in the market right now. Just chase everything, chase everything. Uh, as you can see, you know, the spam that comes uh, to the channel comments anymore is just ridiculous. It's, I probably delete, um, uh, 20 um, things from the um, comment section of the channel every day where there's someone out there promoting something in Bitcoin or, or something along those lines. And it's just a, a sales hype thing. Um, I try to remove all of that from my trading and hopefully you see that difference here. And if you guys find these videos to be useful or helpful to you, if you could please do me that favor and also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and also share this video out there so that we can kind of help um, other folks that are struggling in their trading um, getting caught up in the hype and the drama out there rather than really taking a close look at what's actually occurring in the price action of the charts. Let's take a look at the stock setting up and remember that any of these stocks that I point out are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. So keep that in mind. Um, everyone has to do their own due diligence and follow their own set of rules. Now, the last couple of days, I've actually been taking a look at a couple of charts and tried to get a trade entered in the last two days for a, um, a bear call credit spread on Facebook. And what I see here in Facebook is I see this decline and I know Facebook is going through um, a, a lot right now with, um, uh, um, I don't know, what is it, 40 states filing um, antitrust lawsuits against them um, um, and the federal government uh, doing that as well. 
So I've been watching this kind of closely and as this rallies back toward this price resistance up here, I've been um, looking at the opportunity of that bearish potential move. So we're rallying big time in this um, very energetic move in the market and come back up. And so I'm looking for um, that possible trade um, short. So watch this carefully. As we continue to push back up toward that downtrend, we have that opportunity. If you are looking for some short um, interest in the market or looking to pick up some um, a negative delta, this might be something to take a look at. Um, uh, watch that. Now on the other side, um, Apple probably is going to get a pretty good move today. There's rumor out there today that Apple is working with Hyundai um, or attempting to put together a deal with Hyundai and um, try to get something going here on um, electric cars. And that news this morning, um, well, that news when it came out really sent um, Hyundai Motors soaring um, overnight. And we see a little bit of a lift coming here in um, Apple. So kind of keep an eye on that. If there is a new Apple branded car on the way, um, nowadays it, it seems like um, you can't buy enough electric vehicle technology. Um, watch that closely. Apple could pick up here and really get nice. Now this is in a nice trend. It's got some support in here. So this is a viable trade. Watch that carefully um, for that next opportunity to enter. Apple may be um, getting a news bump here today. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, Cisco. Cisco is one of those stocks that has underperformed here this year. And I think this might be one of those stocks where there might be a little bit of value starting to come in. Now, take a look that we're up here challenging this downtrend area in the chart, and we've broken through and we're attempting right in here to hold that downtrend as support. If you're looking for some technology, look to some of those stocks that aren't very you know aren't stretched out to the moon already look for those stocks that have had some struggle had a little trouble in here and i think there may be some opportunity here in cisco keep a close eye on that we're holding um we had a little volatility in here recently like uh, the rest of the market but we're holding up in here pretty well this little uh, pullback that we had yesterday any rest in here could set up that opportunity where we could push on higher now i'm not looking for great things to happen here uh, you know this is going to go to the moon or catch up with everything else in tech but we could see some nice rallies uh, maybe just to fill this gap um, and that could be a nice profitable trade particularly with options so watch that closely um, there may be some bullish um, reasons to be keeping an eye on cisco you might want to keep an eye on um, Lyft. I've mentioned this a couple of times here recently. Lyft has been consolidating in this nice little consolidation. And I don't know when we're going to get that bullish inspiration to pop out, but right now it seems like there is a um, considerable effort um, on the side of the bulls. Um, anything that may help um, or anything that may relate to recovery, getting people back in, in um, Uber and Lyft. Um, watch that closely. If that can pop out of this box, this nice little tight consolidation, there might be some opportunities here to catch that next wave to the upside. So watch that closely. Lyft has been, um, I've actually had this alerted and it's just been kind of bouncing around on that alert. Um, um, holding that price support. So kind of an interesting chart to pay attention to and keep an eye on. You might want to take a look at GE. Now GE has been one of those stocks that have been beaten down like you cannot believe. And um, for good reason, it was beaten down. And as you can see, we're getting this recovery coming here in um, GE, um, breaking through some resistance levels, holding it as support. And we can see that bullishness kind of coming in here on GE. Might wanna keep an eye on that. If that can hold up in here, a little consolidating rest out here may set up that opportunity 
opportunity um, to uh, pick on up and move on higher. So watch that closely. GE might be a place to look. I've mentioned UAA a couple of times. Um, this has been a long-term hold of, for me, and um, UAA is performing very, very well. And the thing that I want to point out here probably as the most important is this major break back above some price resistance. So we broke above, we held it as support, and now we see those buyers pushing this on up. Now, of course, we do have to always recognize that there is additional layers of resistance in here that may challenge UAA. So keep that in mind, and I wouldn't want to suggest that you should chase a move like this. Wait for the next entry into the trade. Stay focused on um, that chart. You might want to take a look at Micron. Now, Micron um, reported earnings um, soared higher yesterday. Now, I don't want anyone thinking that they should chase this move. Um, as a matter of fact, what I think we should do after breaking out here to these here, let me go to a weekly, um, breaking through, notice we've got a resistance high right out here on that chart, um, uh, all time high on that chart. So if we had some kind of a resting pullback in here, get a little bit of a consolidating move or a little resting pullback in here, it may set up that opportunity to catch that next leg higher um, in um, MU. So keep an eye on Micron. Pretty nice looking, nice looking chart. Very, very bullish at the moment and may seek out that new high um, in, in the coming days and in, in weeks. Um, also take a look at um, some of the heavy equipment operators um, or heavy equipment stocks. Caterpillar, very, very strong. You can see uh, my alert was in here. This has shot up recently. I've been mentioning this chart um, over and over and over and very, very strong here. And as you can see, we've broken out to all-time highs here in Caterpillar. So any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity um, in that chart. Watch that pretty closely. And you might also want to look at stocks like John Deere. John Deere has made that big move. A little rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. Um, CMI, Cummins, really rallying sharply here the last few days. Now, Cummins has some resistance right in here. It has to uh, be challenged by. But any rest consolidation or a pop through that area and then a pullback could set up those opportunities. So take a look at that heavy equipment sector. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And as importantly as anything, I want to wish you a safe and wonderful weekend. We had new record death numbers uh, from the pandemic yesterday. Be careful out there, guys. This is not something to mess around with. Be safe. I wish you all the best, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.